All right, folks, we, we are here again, and unfortunately, it's me again with my dodgy accent. Me. <laughs> and Simon, who's going to try and stand still this time. He's, he doesn't always succeed. So, I will. Say so hello, Simon. Hello, 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 hello. I will stand still. So what we're trying this time is we are going to do for you what we call a pros update. Uh, it's going to be things around the pro shop, new stock in... Talk about the pro-ams on Yeah, okay, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, those kind of things. Is there anything else you can think of we should cover? Yeah, plenty. Okay, good. So, I mean, first things first, we've got a really busy month coming up in June. Okay. Lots of competitions. Yeah. You know, so the captain's vlog will go over in much more detail, I believe, but I just wanted to, to put it out there and, you know, just yeah. explain to you that we've got three major competitions coming up. Okay. So we've got the, well, we start off with the uh, June medal. Yes. Which is, it's not a major, that's a warm-up. So that's like the, the, the what do yep. you call that? Normal the stroke. So that is normal two weeks in advance sign up for the yep. sign up for the medal. Following that, we then have the club championship. Okay. Which is, you know, our major is, that's a Reddington Cup. So the club championships is the modern way of saying it, I like to say. But yes, that is the Reddington and the Club Cup. So, so explain the, the difference to Okay, me. so scratch cup, scratch, gross, best. Player overall in the club. Gross score. Gross, yeah. Take your hand, no handicap, throw it away. Yeah. You walk out there, you're playing off scratch. Yes. Okay. So that's maybe not so your. So, how many people in our club are, uh, would you say, are in the mix there? I'd say 20. 20. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, but what, so, what we do, so we've got the club cup, the scratch cup, and the net, the handicap cup, all played over the same Two weekend. Two days. Two days. And the first day is. And then you, you, you play in your groups, and then the second yes. day you're so, ranked. So, yeah, we, again, two weeks sign up in advance. Okay. We've, we've selected 120-something tea times. So we're hoping that this is going to be the biggest club champs that we've yeah. ever had. Yeah. You know, you know we'll, we'll be yeah. pushing that and get that. And we would like, what we would like on the second day, even if you're not around, if you can come around and we, we'll get the timings... I oh, want to watch the last few people play. To watch the last Cheer few people in. down the yeah, 18th, I just think, to see. Know, that would be great. You know, would be really get great. a barbecue going and that would yeah. be, be fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah, you yeah. choose your own time for day one Saturday. Okay. And then the scores are processed yeah. and our intelligent golf system then jiggles them around and the, it goes out in reverse gross order. So the best scores, like a proper pro tournament, yeah. the best, the winners, as it were, go out at the yeah. end. Okay. So, you know, hopefully you know, it's going to be a great weekend. Oh. Gross scores, the intelligent golf puts you in the, in the order of batting order for lack yeah, of a better so description. Yeah, so second day is leaders go out last and yeah. that's done on the gross, or the gross sort score. Um, so then hopefully, you know, in the last few games, we'll, we'll have our new club champion. And you'll be around? Yeah, we'll all be around. So I'll be around. I won't be playing in it. I will be doing a little bit of YouTubing, a little bit of... Gonna play? No, two-day commitment and doing YouTube and everything else, it's too much. I don't want any excuses. I'd like to see people playing. I think yeah. if we could get you out. I tell you what, you pay me. Simon, I struggle because the weekends are full, family and stuff. That's yeah. a big commitment, no. two-day competition. I know it is, I know it is, and I get that. You know, I understand that as much as anyone. You know, we've yeah. all got busy yeah. lives. Three children and a dog? I know, yeah. A new yeah. dog, by the way. What's new it called? Puppy called Pascal, lovely little French Pascal. dog. Pascal, what breed? It's a French bulldog. Stolen okay. our hearts in a week. Okay. But anyway, that's a... From that's a, a puppy story. farm, apparently. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a big commitment, but I would like to say that we have one major competition for the members every year. So it's our so biggest competition. It's the biggest competition. It's the biggest, yeah. it's the best. I would like for you to just put that in your diary every year. Okay. You know, you know, I say, you know, get permission, but you know, we need, we need to just try and commit that and then you can sacrifice maybe a weekend, the weekend before, okay. the weekend after, and make sure so you make it we, a big event. Are we a little bit guilty of, of not publicizing this far enough in advance then maybe? How, how long in advance do we know next year's dates? We've got them all, they're all in the diary and haven't moved, so okay. they're there. Okay. But yes, we can maybe publicise them okay. a bit earlier. Okay. Yeah. But if you can commit, um, yeah. Simon's just given me a talking to off camera, so I will be committing now. <laughs> <laughs> you so, will be playing. So, uh, yeah, it, I think it's great. I especially like the idea of us welcoming in the person as they're coming in on that on the second round. I think that would be awesome. You know, so it'd be, we've got lots of new members. I really want to see them all involved with our club championship day, you know, maybe one of them could be club champion, and let's get everyone yeah. around that 18th yeah. green, clapping, yeah. etc. You know, and I good. apologize, the pros update looks like it's gonna be about 20 minutes at this stage. Oh, <laughs> roll on, move on. Okay, club champs done, everyone's playing, yeah, it's gonna be a massive event. Pro am, 
23rd of June. 23rd of June, Wednesday the 23rd of June. We are actually, we're nearly, we are getting towards filling up, which is great. No, so, we need more. Okay. How many have we got? We have got... Give me numbers, twen data. Twen Carl, patience. No. We've got 22 normal members teams okay. so far. We've got six outside teams, which is got through through the PGA. Okay. So, and we then have two main sponsors. So we've got uh, Black Law sponsoring so us again. 28. Plus we've got, I believe, four normal sponsored teams. So we've got to 32. So if we're looking at the numbers 30. So another eight. 30 is break even. So okay. we're past that. And to be honest, you know, it's such a great day as well. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, we need maybe another six teams, eight teams, yeah. max. Six or eight six teams. Or eight Come teams. on, guys. If you so haven't signed up, it's a great day. It's a really good day. It is £70 a person for a member's team, £210. Yeah. And we think, oh, you know, do you want to pay that for your own course? No. I would like to say, I'd like to say it's it's apart from the club championships, the major day for the members, yeah. it's a fantastic day. You know, you're gonna be playing with one of the, you know, one of the premier pros from the area, yeah. from the South region. It's gonna get the nerves going. You're gonna you're gonna be you know you're gonna get the tingles. You're gonna get announced on the first yeah. tee. It's a really good competition yeah. to get involved with. So I would really recommend that you know you. I was good until you said we were getting announced on the first tee. Yeah, you will representing Flatwoods Golf Club. Great. Go for all your. I'm really looking forward to it now. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can guarantee it's one of those competitions though. It's really good fun. I know I really yeah. recommend if you okay. haven't played it, play it. I want volunteers. For volunteers for. So pro am if you can't play. Yeah. So we're looking for volunteers. Ball spotters? We look yeah, so ball spotters. Ball spotters. What else? Bar runners. Bar so runners. we're looking for people to we have a bar. We have a free bar on the fourth, which we also on the Pro Am, we tee off off the thirteenth. Yes. So nine holes gets us round to the third. Yeah. So the te so halfway house is on the fourth. Okay. So we have a bar. Um, mm -hmm. and we want that to be manned all day. Okay. We have car park attendants. We have so, so really, it's that's a, it's a good day if you don't want to play or you you know you have, you're not able to play. And you'd like to volunteer and be involved. We've got sign up sheets in the ladies' locker room and in the gents' locker room. So please put your names down there. If you can't get up, yeah. give us a, give us a call or an email, and we'll book you in as a volunteer. We'd really appreciate your help. Yeah, probably better just to reach out to Simon. I don't think anyone's getting the locker rooms at the moment that much. So. Okay. So that's reach fair. out to me. That's fine. What else, Simon? Okay. What else is happening in this pro shop? Can we just do Captain's Day? No, we'll leave that for the Captain's blog. We'll leave that for the Captain's blog. Okay. So Louis and John will update you guys on the Captain's Day. He, okay. They've already done it in the last vlog, but they'll get into a little bit more detail. Yeah, I think they've got a good plan yeah. and a carry yeah. We'll let them so get So before we get on to merchandise, quickly tell me, are you seeing anything in terms of, are green feeds healthy? Yep, so green feeds have been good. So in the first six weeks, we had £22,000 worth of green feeds. Brilliant. So, which is, I think, a nice number. We had a target that we'd set, I suppose, not official, but we were looking to get 80 grand this year. Okay. So, it's you're, a good start. We're on target. On that. On so, let's okay. see where we... Okay, we'll put that in the go. finance director's update. We'll be putting those numbers. Thank you, Simon. That's Very okay. nice of you. But, in terms of, are there any habits you're seeing that you think we just as members need to be a bit better at? Are we we, we hitting the tea times on time? I think tea we're times, booking well. People we're are booking putting well. the, the old famous anonymous. Okay, so the anonymouses are we have a few anonymouses. It's very difficult. So we, we you, you will see anonymouses time to time on the tea sheet. Okay. And they're not ideal. And especially when we started, and the tea was very busy when we came out of lockdown, yeah. they were unacceptable. Yeah. And I don't, we don't want to see them now. But if you are signing in through a broker, a which is this won't be for members. This is non-members signing in. Has that gone off? No, that 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 light says it's recording. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. If you are signing in through one of the broker's sites, which we yeah. use a couple of brokers, so that's for green fees, yeah. that gives them the option not to put in their guest names. They're prepaying and then skipping. Fair play. So they will say anonymous, I can't change so, that. So um, That's a good point. So if as a member, don't get excited that someone's not doing his job because it says anonymous, it's because of outside systems. Yes. And, all the, and our, another option, we have the Baker Cups and the Birch Cups going yes. on. And I would like to see anonymous next to those. Or bake a couple of birch cup. We can have bake a couple of birch cup, but what that means is that we then have a green fee on the system, which then if we look back, we have to explain why 
we've got X amount of green fees that members get. Okay, so what do you want us pounds. to do, anonymous? I would like to see anonymous. I know it's a bit controversial. We said no anonymous. The anonymous, anonymous police are everywhere. It's up to you and James on how yeah. you want to do so that. So decide amongst yourselves. Okay. So we want to see. We don't really want to see anonymous, but on the birch cups, I think it's the best option. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. You know, a minimal yeah. anonymous is. If we yeah. get anonymous in busy times, just for the sake of it, you know, yeah. we'll take them off. So what about if we see Simon Quilliam? Oh, <coughs> I mean, I saw you playing golf seven times one day. I have played so much. It's unbelievable. Unfortunately, I've only played twice since lockdown. So, okay. I, um, so when we see your name in there, what's so, that? So that is new potential members. Uh, okay. Phoning up, or sometimes green fees, paying green fees, and you don't know their names. No, I know that. So it's in. So we have members and not so non-members and members time. So members obviously all the time, yeah. and then we limit the time that non-members can play. Okay. Now, when we see that we have like an hour's worth of times, not on a weekend, but on yeah. a on a weekday free, mm. we can't put a non-members time name in there. So that is normally. A visitor coming to play. So if you go beneath behind okay, the scenes, so you you'll see of, their you're name. kind of controlling it. Okay, yeah. So okay, it's, so fine, that's fine. that's actually a visitor. Fair play, fair yeah. play. Okay. Well, well, that, that explains, that explains it because a lot of people think, why is Simon playing with uh, anonymous? Yeah. And he should be not doing that. And yeah. That's why giving away free green fees yeah, all the time. Yeah. No, definitely not. <laughs> no. Right. Okay. So that's good. Yeah, it's going well. Yeah. yeah. So that that covers off the perception issue we have with people looking at the, at, at that. Yeah. Um, I I personally haven't seen any. Bad habits uh, right. forming out there. I think everyone's on the tees on time. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen anyone shout at anyone. I haven't seen anyone wearing uh, sliders with socks. No, actually, I have in the <laughs> car park. Uh, <laughs> so I think when the hot weather comes, that's when the the dress code, the the dress issues yes. will happen. Please but, leave that to me and the staff to to try and deal with that. We you know we will do our best. It's you, difficult when it gets really hot. You have the feedback system is. To go to James, do not is to go to the secretary directly. James Simon is not an employee of the company, so you can direct any complaints you'd like at Simon, but he will be directing that at the club yeah. through James. Yeah, 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 yeah. perfect. But right. I th what I was saying, maybe don't attack, don't sort the issue out yourself. Yes, please do, do not know, approach other guests so directly. So quite often, if we have someone wearing a slightly wrong shorts with a combat yeah. or whatever. Yeah. We will explain to them that it's not fitting acceptable. with the dress code. It's not acceptable. But this time, you know, if let's sneak you out and enjoy your round. And please, you know, you, you know, when you come again, there's dangers with that. But there is. But that's I think, between you and James to manage. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, do you know what? I'm happy either way. But we can also be even stricter and say, you know. No, I out. prefer you to sell them. I well, I, I will, and I have lots of shorts. But then sometimes that's. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, you know that's fine. No, we'll try. We'll try. Yeah. It, upsell, is, it is upsell. much. Upsell. I will. I will. I will. And obviously, that helped. Uh, and, and to be honest, guys, if if they're paying fifty, if they're paying fifteen pound, and they're wearing that, then I get a bit disgruntled. But if they're paying fifty quid for yeah, a round, now we are charging top dollar for the green fees. So yeah, yeah, then then we can be a little bit more yeah. stuff. And it's about being inclusive and allowing people. That's... But please tell us you're upselling. As okay, in, you yes, know, I'm it, upsetting. Yeah, even if you say, listen, mate, I'm going to give it to you 5% on top of cost yeah. or something, because that but makes everybody happy. And sometimes we might not have the right size. You know, so we definitely yeah, yeah. We try and fit them into something. Yeah. You know, most people wear the right stuff. It, it is difficult when it gets really hot. Yes. You know, because that's yeah. when we do see. But we don't want to things. discourage people from playing golf. No, exactly. We want people to enjoy right. what we And have we don't want it to. And come back again and get involved and be perfectly dressed every time. And there's no worse experience arriving at a golf club and being told, and this has happened to me, that, well, that, that that's not going to cut it. You can't have. And I was wearing perfectly acceptable white socks, and they said you had to, I had to have, I won't mention the club, but I had to have knee length white mm. socks. Yeah, so obviously we're past that. We can wear short socks. But I think as well, what we'd like to ask is, you know, members, think about your dress code. You know, mm. we're not trying to be too fussy no. about knee length socks and, you know, but, you know, but let's just, let's, let's dress yeah. as good as we can. Yeah. Yes. But the message here is please do not approach <laughs> yeah. people directly. Yeah, just don't rugby tackle them. No. Not like you have done in the past. I'll, I'll edit that up. Good. Okay, so, so I'm going to edit the bits of me out. Yeah. Well, let's just see how this goes. So, Simon has got a whole bunch of new Under Armour. And just a quick thing about the Under Armour, it's got ISO Chill. So these ones are slightly more than 55. So Those ones are indeed 55. So ISO Chill is, what they got is they got, without killing you with the technical detail, they have a titanium oxide fibers in it and they do it in a ribbon form. 
Essentially what it means is it takes the heat out incredibly fast out of the fabric. Very technical, very good. I've done my research. I would be buying these. I personally, they're just not to my taste. They, they for uh, someone else's taste, but they're not for mine. But this shirt, technically, you're not gonna get anything better in the market. So I'm thinking what he said. Yeah. But they, uh, they'll keep you cool. They're very good. They definitely keep you cool. So we've got, this is the more normal one. Yeah. Doesn't have ISO chill, 45? 45 pounds, similar to yeah. another option here. Polka dots, stripes. So, so this is more the polyester wicking type thing that you, that yeah. thing. The polyester wicking threads that'll get it out of you, but it's not as good as the ISO chill, but it's yeah, still but it's nice, still but it's a much better that'll looking shirt. That'll keep you cool as well. So, and we have another drop coming in the beginning, okay. of, beginning of June. Different styles? So, different styles, different colors. So we get four drop, okay. five drops a year of Under Armour, Beginning of June schedule. I don't okay. know if it'll be pushed back a little bit, but we're ready to rock and roll. I'm just going to go and get it because these, I think, are probably the nicest shirt Simon's had in you. I want to one. It's rude. Oh. I'm going to take it. We've oh, had lots of nice shirts. Yeah. And one of the nicest shirts I've had. So these these Glenn Muir shirts, which are also polyester wicking technology. Nice, nice feel though to them. But lovely colour. Uh, with the Flackwell Heath logo. Very good. Yeah. So I, I sound like a QVC. <laughs> 45 quid. So that, these are nice. You've got different, different colors, haven't you, Simon? You've got, you, we got lots of different colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's, there's a lot of merchandise. And you guys saw the other night when uh, on the captain's vlog, Paul and John showed you the, ver the various Flackwell Heath pieces. It's all on thing. Yeah. But Simon also does all the Garmin watches. I can highly recommend the F62. Uh, that's very good. You do everything. We've got, the, we've, got the, we've got Garmin watches. We've got the new Motor Caddy lasers. Okay, any good? They go? are fantastic. So, so when they, are we doing a little equipment well, review? Actually, let's do an equipment review on those. They, they are, mm -hmm. I think, really small, not on a review. Mm -hmm. They are as advanced and more accurate than a leading brand at double the price yeah. and coming at about 240, 50 pounds. Okay. So they're, you know, they're, yeah, yeah. they're really good. Well okay. priced. Yeah. That's so, other services that Simon offers is the Swing Studio. Simon, how much do you charge for Swing Studio? Twenty pounds for an hour. Twenty pounds for an hour. And if you do block booking, yes, yeah, so if do you want a book, we we're going to do a discount. Do a so if you are a serious practitioner, are you doing are you doing like winter packages that people that can buy? Is, we're exactly going to do that. So we'll do okay. a we'll do like a monthly package, okay. a summer package, a winter package. Just get you in there practicing as much as we can. Yeah. New we're, screen, new, new software, awesome. new everything. Yeah, and I've really, really like, met David. You've really met Graham. Yeah. Any other staff members? So, I think big announcement, we're saying goodbye to Jess. Yes, she's got a job. Jess has a real job. She's in yeah. the real world. It is a, she's working. As an events manager for a finance company events, in, in Marlowe. Yes, events and marketing manager, I believe, or yeah. something like that. For a, yeah, for a uh, company in Marlowe. You know, we're going to wish her all the best. She's been a yeah. great asset to the club.